Rylan, and I'm so happy to be with you today. Can you tell me what this animal is? Yes, that's right, it's a kangaroo. How does a kangaroo get around? Right, it jumps. Okay, let's see you jump like a kangaroo. Show me. Wow, you really are good at that. A kangaroo jumps up and down with its powerful legs. They also sometimes have a baby kangaroo in their pouch and they have to keep it there safe. Very tricky. A kangaroo jumps to go where it needs to go. This month we have been learning that we can jump, jump and go God's way. Our memory verse says, God's way is perfect. Hey, have you memorized the motions to our verse? Let's try it out together. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Great job, you got it down one more time. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Excellent job, friends. Now today's Bible story is about a king, but as far as kings go, he was very young. But he was a wise one. Do you know why? I think it has something to do with going God's way. Are you ready to get started for today? Me too! Let's jump to it!
there, I'm Manny. My uncle Sanjay taught me how to play hopscotch and gave me this hopscotch game to put in the clubhouse. Wanna see? Oh, wait. It helps if you pretend to be a bunny. They're the best at hopping. Here I go, count with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's time to turn around and go back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Watch this. Four, three, two, one. This is fun, but it would be more fun if my friends were here, but my uncle isn't here to teach them how to play. Ho, ho. Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho. Playing all by yourself, are you? Yes, I am, Ollie. My uncle isn't here to teach my friends how to play. Uncles are good teachers, it's true. But young people can be teachers too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> hey guys, I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Want to see my latest creation? Ta da! <laughs> they are my mini cupcakes because good things come in small packages. Which reminds me of today's story. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a king. Now, when I think of kings, I think of... Someone older and wiser, someone who can lead the people. But the king in today's story was a kid. Yep, King Josiah was only a kid. Now, think about what most kids are doing, like eating ice cream or playing with blocks or kicking a soccer ball. But this kid was actually the king, which meant he had a lot of people to lead. King Josiah wanted to do what was right. He wanted to show the people how to go God's way. One day, his workers found a very special book. Do you know what it said? That God's way is perfect. <laughs> that God loves us and knows what's best for us. So right then and there, King Josiah jumped, jumped <laughs> and went God's way. And then he called all the people and told them that God's way is perfect. God loves you and God knows what's best for you. So jump, jump and go God's way, everyone. Wow, isn't that amazing? Even when King Josiah was a kid, he told others about God's way. Now, here's a question. Do you think you as a kid could also tell others about God's way? Of course you can. There are lots of ways to do it. You can tell a friend, hey, God's way is perfect. Or you could show them every day when you go God's way. They'll see what God's way is like when they watch you sharing and helping others. No matter if you're young or old, you can go God's way and tell others about it because God's way is perfect. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me. God's way is perfect. God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Josiah taught others about God's way, and so can you. Ho, ho! Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you! Ho, ho! Wow! 
Josiah became a king when he was a kid. And he taught others to follow God's way because God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I can tell others that God's way is perfect and I can teach my friends how to play hopscotch. I'll see you guys next time. I think I'm gonna play some more. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22.31 God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22.31Welcome back friends! Even though King Josiah was young, he was wise because he knew God's way. No matter if you're young or old, you can go God's way and tell others about it. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect! That's right friends! King Josiah told others when he was just a kid and you can too! Let's close our eyes and talk to God about that. God. Thank you for the true story of King Josiah. Even as a kid, he wasn't afraid to tell everyone to follow you. Help us do the same by telling and showing others that your way is the best because your way is perfect. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today was so fun. Who can you go tell about God's way? Until next time, goodbye.